Hey guys, so today's topic is controversial, trending, but all in the wrong reasons. It is back pain in young individuals. Did you know 60 to 70 percent of our age groups suffer from back pain? This is due to many reasons. Four main reasons of back pain would include lifestyle, second, mechanical load, third, is sports and gym activities, and the fourth one is psychological factors such as stress. So let us bust some myths and know some facts about back pain in young individuals. So what are these factors? Let us take a briefing. First is lifestyle modifications. It is a sedentary lifestyle, a person who is obese. These are lifestyle modifications. Also, it includes slouching while working for long hours on computers or laptops. The second thing is mechanical load. So basically, if you carry a heavy weight on your head or on your back, it causes pressure or strain over your cervical spine that is the neck and the low back which is the L spine. The third one is psychological factors. Psychological factor is basically stress. Yes guys, stress is one of the causes for back pain and neck pain. The fourth one which is the most common encountered by all of us in this age group is sports and gym activities. So gym activities is basically using the wrong form or lifting heavy weight beyond your capacity that will cause strain to your back. In sports, there's something called overuse injuries wherein micro traumas can cause back pain and back strain. The third one which is very common is fall from sports activities. No, it's a myth. First of all, slouching is really bad for your back. but. Sitting up too straight for long hours can also strain your back. So what do we do? We lean back on the chair if you're working for long hours, put your feet on the ground and relax for some time. That gives your back a little bit of rest. And the best thing is to get up for five minutes, two mile stretches and that's about it. No, it's a myth. Lifting heavy weights does not cause back pain. It does not necessarily depend on how much you lift, it is how you lift. Even uh, Hippocrates and Plato believe that exercise is really important for your health and there is a very famous saying by Hippocrates that if there is any deficiency in exercise, the body will fall sick. So I'll show you the basic way how you should lift up things when you're lifting something up from the floor or you you know you are dealing with some heavy weight. So it doesn't really depend on how much you lift but how you lift. So I'll show you the basic way to how to lift a particular set of weights or a particular weight from the ground so that you can avoid any back injury or strain on your back. So the basic movement which you have to remember, uh, you basically have to practice this a bit. It is called the hip hinge movement. So how you do it is, you have to, you know, have this particular type of mobility in your lower back and your pelvis. So till the time, you can just, you know, practice this quite, uh, like a few times a day and later on, when you feel that you are comfortable with it, then you can move on on lifting the weights from the ground in that particular fashion. So what you do is, whatever you are lifting from the ground, make sure that it is close to your body. When it is close to your body, you automatically avoid the strain on your lower back. Then after that, make sure that you arch your back by lifting it. And just, you know, give a thrust forward from your pelvis. No, it's a myth. Even though rest sometimes works on acute injuries or recent injuries, but too much rest for two to three days can actually worsen your pain. The thing is that 
mild stretches and mild exercises during back pain can increase the blood flow to the particular area and reduce your back pain. Unfortunately, yes. So the research says that people with a BMI of more than 25 are at the risk of early spine arthritis, which in turn causes back pain. Secondly, obese people have directly linked back pain. Why? Because the torso and the stomach pulls your pelvis in front, which in turn causes strain to your back and causes back pain. Thirdly, they are also at the risk of a condition known as sciatica because the spine of an obese person has to compensate for the extra load of the body. The so milk exercise is not bad for back pain. All you all the basic thing that uh, is to, uh, which is to be taken in consideration is the approach. The approach should always be gradual and uh, the movements you should start with gentle movements and the movement should be gradually progressed and the intensity should be gradually increased as the brain pain reduces as you feel that there is an improvement in the pain uh, you should get a proper workout plan made which will further help you to strengthen your back and reduce your uh, you know problems which you are facing related to the back pain issues apart from that Today I will show you some basic movements which you can use and try out uh, which will definitely help you with your back pain. So moving on to the exercise routine, the basic exercises for the back pain. So first what you have to do for the first exercise is sit down in the kneeling position and uh, keeping your hands in front of your knees. So this exercise, is basic, this exercise basically focuses on your upper back or your cervical spine. Make sure that you deep in while, while compressing your chest inside and while going up, leaning out. So uh, this was the first exercise. Now moving on to the second one, the proper cat cow pose. What you have to do basically is when you go down, try to pull your abdomen in and breathe in while you go down. So, this exercise basically focuses on your upper and middle back or your cervical and thoracic spine. No, it's a myth. First of all, there is nothing called as an orthopedic mattress. So beware if you're going shopping for a mattress. Secondly, in a Spanish study, it shows that people with medium to firm mattresses have shown better results in back pain than people who use firm mattresses. So, it's a myth.